everything's okay with you? Yes, uh, I, think. I will be managing time. It's always something a chair has to do, as you know. Okay, so uh, Beko, it's uh, 15 minutes. If so, we have some time for questions. That would be nice if you could keep to that time. Okay, I'll be controlling here. So, yes, when you want to start, yes, I'm opening my yours. screen at the moment, and uh, I hope. No, it's I okay. If you need any help, we're, we're here to yeah. help. Yeah. Yeah. You can just put it running. It's not running yet. Your, your slideshow. I hope you can see this. Yes, now it's perfect. Thank you. So, good afternoon to all here online. Online at our beautiful Slack 20 conference and warm greetings from Helsinki, Finland, uh, even though I'm representing Turku. So, uh, I'm very thankful for this opportunity, as our whole, whole team is. So, my name is Pekko Lindblom. I'm, I'm from the University of Turku. I'm here to, today to share with you our research team's vision about the uh, notion smart countryside or smart rural, if you like. Uh, and uh, like that many well proved to be an alternative positive future for a sparsely populated region so so what's the new here well despite that the historic data and statistics may point out that the country will keep on losing population and businesses to growth centers we have seen on the contrary uh, credible evidence how innovative businesses and also bold individuals can make a difference to a com community so we uh, wanted to explore the environmental and processes how the digital learning happens in our connected world, it's safe to say that even newcomers can harness smart ways to develop oneself and for a business in the digital age uh, with power from new tools. So um, first I'll shed some light into the current state of our rural research um, environment in question. Second, I'll continue to summarize the setup of our uh, digitalization project, which is called Alive in Smart Countryside, and make remarks about con conducting the uh, research and demonstrate our scientific approaches. And then I'll just uh, tell you how our research project do. I dive deep into the grassroots level to work and co-create among the small and medium-sized enterprises, SME. And um, as for concluding remarks, I will deliver you the outcomes strengthening uh, the SME's digital know-how, contemporary e-commerce capabilities, and empowering the businesses, clusters, and networks with corporate motivation and uh, that so they can make a difference within and around the community. This photo here is from the Lake Bielinen, Yuga, Finland, uh, but with the QR code or the link here, you can access our very smart G form targeted to this slurred conference 20 uh, conference participants. So this, this countryside has many also, uh, other uh, also countrysides is losing population. The Helsinki metropolitan area together with uh, the Turku and Tampere city regions with major university clusters seem to attract the largest portion of national migration also in the future. Shrinking countryside with minimal offerings to its people has negative consequences. Problems can easily lead to apathy and passivization of inhabitants. The rural areas are at risk of being left behind in the competition of attracting people and business to the trending growth centers. So about the regional scope of our research, North Karelia so it is the most it's easternmost province in Finland, having approximately 165,000 inhabitants, which, of which 75,000 live in the university city of Joensuu. The province has four other cities and nine municipalities. North Karelia has 2,200 lakes and two, two thirds of the area is covered by forest. One of Finland's best known uh, national landscapes is the Koli area with, it, with its high hills. Uh, the most important industrial fields are forestry and wood processing, food, plastic, metal, stone and tourism. Creative industries are a rising sector. Sharing a border with Russia brings possibilities, for example, in the fields of business cooperation and tourism. The small municipality Yuga with 5,000 inhabitants is located on the western shore of Lake Bielinen. Um, Yuga's nature is variable of high hills and archipelago of Palasma. The city of Kite is located in the center of central Karelia with 10,500 inhabitants. Kite has city center with modern services and sparsely populated countryside near the Russian border. During the summer vacation season, both Yuga and Kite experience a population increase by more than 10, 10% because the summer residents there. Well, uh, the unemployment situation is in the province of North Karelia, the worst in Finland. Uh, in, in 19, the province's un unemployment rate was 14%, while the whole country was 9.8%. There are also other challenges in the region listed here in the in this slide. Uh, despite the obvious obvious challenges uh, in this part of the region faces, we argue, however, that rural areas can also act as an engine of development in the 
uh, if the aspirations and motivations meet proper resources. The countryside can, in fact, be, become a creative zone for education and development where new ideas can be conceptualized, piloted, tested, and new technologies developed more freely, perhaps, than in rural areas. In urban areas, sorry. So success stories of local local businesses tend to boost the self-esteem um, of the regional economic life. So tying this uh, setting to our everyday life, the global events have affected all of us and in a way, and of course our working, is changing more and more. The surge in use of key technologies and other factors that have disruptional potential via digitalization. We have later realized that remote work is driving people from the cities to sparsely populated areas, which has also raised new hopes of rural areas as attractive places to live. So we present a real life approach that we initiated to make use of new technology, such as virtual presence in AI for revitalizing countryside. The preliminary anticipation of the project was to gain a contemporary picture and understanding about the local SMEs capabilities and use of digital business solutions. We focused on SMEs as they are often the driving force for innovation, knowledge, and dissemination, and respond to new demands and social needs. We wanted to see what kind of concrete, perhaps disruptive impact our project would have to the SMEs business and the region. The focus areas in our project were set in accordance with the North Karelia's regional strategic program, Bogat 18. Uh, to 21. However, large company, technology companies weren't our target uh, as we focused to SMEs environment. Our participants represented the craft, tourism and food production companies, some also from the material technology sector. Uh, so, as seen here, North Korea mentions these key drivers in the RIS3 strategy of the province. During the project, we involved the multidisciplinary staff and students of the university to live and uh, to promote bold, disruptive innovation in order to design solutions towards smart countryside. They created living labs to the selected regions, which offered local SMEs digital co-design services based on the customer needs, requirements and expectations. In practice, selected students moved to the region and set up two living lab contact points to provide on-demand digital consultancy for four months from May to August 19. Uh, the Alliance uh, Smart Countryside concept involves stakeholders from different sides of the society to participate, not only as observed subjects, but as, especially as co-designers. We welcomed NGOs, researchers, students and local people from the whole community to act as citizen science practitioners. In the summer of eight, nine, uh, 18, 19, uh, 30 companies were served in Kite and 18 in Yuga. So the project reached altogether 48 companies. Nature of the work with the companies varied. Some had a preliminary discussion or cooperation opportunities, while some SMEs had already developed ideas and were involved in more extensive development tasks. I wish you used design science as a research approach, DSR, to develop the concept to enhance the SMEs digital skills and knowledge. This approach was used uh, delivering a concrete solution called an artifact to a real life problem by interacting with a given local environment, relevant cycle by an iterative design cycle that makes use and input the results of the design uh, to the state of the art global knowledge base, a rigorous cycle. Uh, note the synergies with uh, build and evaluate loops in the framework. So a DSR can be understood as a method for making a difference uh, by, by informal learning. Also Nick's uh, presentation gave a good picture of this. Um, based on the first iteration of the project, we analyzed the application domain consisting of the people, organizational systems, and technical systems interacting and forming the rural ecosystem of North Karelia. We identified and represented opportunities and problems in the relevance cycle uh, to produce a better solutions to the actual needs uh, of the local uh, focus group. The central design cycle iterates between the core activities of building and evaluating the design artifacts and processes of the research. Um, so and then the design artifacts were in this case, the alike in the smart countryside concept and other methods such as uh, algorithms and practices. And instantations implemented and progressive systems which were uh, developed and tested during the project. The rigor, rigor cycle um, uh, provides theories and methods using the project along with the domain experience and adds the new technologies generated dur during the project to the growing knowledge base. For sparsely populated areas to develop and be viable, they need to be attractive to live. 
In this table, we analyzed uh, the Finnish rural areas as a living milieu based on our co-design process during the Aliveness Smart, smart Countryside Living Lab events. Um, here you can observe our rigor cycle, a various set of multidimensional methodology with the research. One functional example of our interaction uh, design method was the hackathon con concept, which proved to activate and bind the participants to the actual code development process. Hackathons uh, were more easily understood as digital development and brainstorming sessions, where local people participated actively in the discussion and expressed their wishes and to the for the project. Together uh, with the SME staff, the project workers made pilot testing on new software and processes. In addition to working uh, in a fixed premises, Living Lab toured as a design caravan, visiting entrepreneurs across the region to maximize access to these services. First, furthermore, there were capacity building activities and um, project workers organized several open training sessions on the project team themes. An important principle was agile development because the first phase of the project lasted only for the summer and the time available per company was limited. Here you can see the website of one of our SME participants, Karolan Helmi, which offers accommodation services to international tourists in Kite regions. So a main design artifact from the uh, project was Alive in Smart Countryside Living Lab concept. Here you can observe some examples of typical living lab tasks. Uh, we designed our project to meet the needs and wants of all three parties, uh, and uh, we, which we see the stakeholders, university, and active entrepreneurs. Uh, while a design endeavor, the project can be understood as informal learning initiative. So our project shed light on how SMEs in the countryside can really take advantage of assistance concerning modern ICT and other, other tools. Our original business development projects represented evidently a promising way to bring value to otherwise busy entrepreneurial 24-7 work. Extra R&D workforce gave up a company's possibility to roll out new business processes, projects, software, and produce visuals. The Living Lab working model aimed to provide a sophisticated co-design support, but, uh, but our preliminary baseline for the SMEs ITC skills proved to uh, overestimate their digital capabilities in some cases. Also, uh, the motivational factors in participating uh, from the SME side was somewhat below uh, the project team expectations. We analyzed that this had to do with the fact that the project was launched in free of charge basis the motivation then to, to, to take full advantage of the seminars and consultancy wasn't tied to direct monetary or time-based value. Nevertheless, according uh, to the received feedback from the active participants, uh, rated the project as a significant development for them. Uh, based on the actual feedback from the stakeholders, uh, uh, we see that uh, we can observe that the concept produced a positive output. Uh, we believe that the more motivated and actively involved the lo local user communities are in the project, the more effective the new knowledge implementation will be. Small entrepreneurs so seldom have resources and knowledge or know-how to search uh, ways to expand their digital uh, business capabilities and functions. The digitalization of businesses and empowered ability in transformation will evidently enhance the cohort of enterprises as well as the region's attractiveness in, in uh, general. Every region has success stories, uh, but policy-wise, the local characteristics, uh, but also the hidden potentials should play an important part also in designing regional RIS3 strategies, for example. In North Karelia situation, we find that the clear, uh, clean Nordic nature, artisan-style products, ecologically produced uh, groceries and creative uh, local services and goods are especially interesting to the public and are purchased, purchased uh, especially by domestic and international visitors. Having that said, the impact of learning processes was evident during the Alive in Countryside project. University staff and students with participant SMEs developed new e-commerce platforms, enhanced new uh, ways in digital marketing and sales, established new kinds of web presence, and developed other vital competencies in the area of content development. These factors may very well attract, attract new in investment and improve the accessibility of tourism and accommodation services. And um, as my final words to you, um, we intend to apply for EU funding for larger scale projects, which will implement and deepen the same concept, including uh, the intersectoral dimensions. Uh, so the T Department of Future Technologies of the University of Turku is interested to partner with new regions and also research organizations, besides continuing our cooperation with North Karelian stakeholders. So we're welcoming your, your thoughts and uh, 
please, uh, you have the link uh, in the slide as well as the QR code. So please feel, feel, feel free to um, be in contact with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peko. So inspiring uh, presentation. And thank you also for keeping up to time. That gives us um, time to get a couple of questions uh, for Peko. Uh, here in, I don't know if anyone. Um, I have just a, 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 a remark. I mean, I mean, I would like to advise you to have a look at uh, the paper that has been presented last year during last, uh, no, two years ago in, uh, in Aalborg. And uh, the paper that is now in the special issue of IDEA that was produced by uh, the colleagues of Albo University, 20 university, I guess. So where they had uh, several uh, citizen hackathon, and uh, they may give you some uh, ideas on how to measure uh, the learning effect. So, Very interesting. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Well, that's that's a good point to make, and also the hackathons uh, that are such uh, maybe. Uh, maybe uh, now already a little bit passe a way of working, but still it's a, it's a good opportunity to measure actually something from those uh, you know, in a more, more systematic way than just a partner, uh, participants count. Any other question or remark? Uh, Becco, I have one uh, curious, um, I noticed in your diagram when you were showing your process and the, the different phases and inputs you get, the yes. hackathon, uh, I noticed that I, I think only in the hackathon did you highlight the local people's input. Is that the only place besides, of course, they, they'll work in the SMEs and the knowledge will also be in the small and medium enterprises. But besides that, as Carlo was mentioning, as a citizen, yeah. as a local, as a local people, how do you get the input in terms of their individual knowledge into your process? Is it just at the hackathon or you do it some, somewhere else? Yes, a very good question, and uh, also also an intriguing question to think about uh, the future. Um, we uh, we had very important uh, uh, partners from from the uh, municipality inside the in, inside the province, uh, from the uh, local um, business incubators, and also the uh, some some networks um, and free uh, free uh, NGO uh, free uh, organized. Uh, NGO sectors uh, sort of actor networks, uh, which which were uh, uh, one one important uh, um, knowledge knowledge richening uh, um, possibility for us. And uh, so, uh, having that said, um, we used uh, the the uh, the in-house knowledge of, from of the regions, from the regions, uh, uh, from the uh, policymaker, uh, all the way uh, from the top. To middle to the bottom, and the bottom being the open hackathon idea brainstorming sessions. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Because what, what I've noticed in worldwide, whenever you try to get uh, put up some um, company, industry, economy, or micro economy uh, based on place, what we've been noticing in all the um, the good. The, the, the excellent projects that uh, or entrepreneur projects that get out of there worldwide are the projects that did take into account local, almost a local legacy of knowledge in the relation. It can be in the forest, related with the sea, related with multiple aspects of place, with what they have to give to. to and normally it's the local people that have the legacy of that knowledge, of the relation with place, and with all the resources that play, that a, the, a specific place can give you, and it was nice to see you mentioning not just smart, so the, the 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 entrepreneurial yeah, yeah, yeah. or scientific knowledge, the local people's knowledge that normally is a legacy, an historical legacy of the relation with the place. Okay, thank yeah. you very much, Michael. Thank you for any your comments. Uh, any, and, uh, any more? Oh, there's still one comment, Carlo. You want to? No, anyone want to? Put in, we still got a minute or two for an extra question or comment. Um, I might have a comment. Uh, so the, the publications, once again, please. Uh, yeah. The Auburg University and uh, the, the measuring the heart hackathons. Uh, once again, please, what was the... Uh, the reference. Carlo, yeah. I have just sent you privately the oh, reference. Thank you. Okay. 
But, anything, uh, else, Peco, anything else to have a look into? Okay, uh, Peko, but uh, copy copy the reference before the yeah. session goes down because in yeah. Zoom we lose all the <laughs> we lose all the text if this uh, when this closes. Okay, <laughs> so just copy the text for yourself. Uh, so I think thank you very much, Peko. Thanks again uh, for everyone. Thank you, thank you very much. We're just on time. We can go now for our second presenter, which is.